I've been served various adverts from Govi recently, specifically one about their new neon RGBIC light strip. And to be honest, it does look awesome, but it's a hundred pounds. I don't want to spend a hundred pound. Now this should be no secret to you, but I love smart accent lighting. I mean, I literally have it everywhere in my house. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Is this not the best thing you've ever seen in your whole life? A couple of months ago, I made an accidental purchase of the uh, Philips Hue gradient strip. Accidental because I picked it up with a few other bits and didn't bother to check the poise. Poise? I didn't bother to check the price and was then too embarrassed to put it back when I was paying at the till and realised how much it was. But anyway, the point is, I like it and I've been on the lookout for something similar for my desk, but not so goddamn expensive. So when I saw Govi's alternative that was still cheaper than the Hue, I wanted to take a look, but I didn't want to spend a hundred pounds. So I kept scrolling and then there was this. <laughs> The Luxonic RGBIC Neon Rope Light 4 and prepare yourself 29.96 Great British Pounds at time of filming this video. That's around 70% cheaper than the Govi alternative, but can it really be any good? Surely there must be some kind of hidden caveat. Well, I don't know. I just don't know. So let's get in the box and find out what we get. Right, straight into the box and we have some white plastic fixing brackets and screws, 12 to be exact. Also a UK plug and then a little package containing some gump, also known as a user manual, the control unit and a remote control. And then below this we have the light rope itself, which weighs 600 grams. Unboxings don't come quicker or easier than this. Now, as mentioned, it is RGBIC, which means unlike other strip lights where they can only display a single color, the IC, independent control, means different sections of the strip can display different colored lights. It comes with a remote control, but can also be app controlled and is compatible with both Mrs. A and Google Home Smart Assistants. They say it's waterproof, it isn't, nothing is waterproof. It's water resistant with an IP rating of IP65 or IP67. The box says 65, the listing says 67. Either way, this can be used inside and outside, which I hadn't realized when purchasing it. So that's actually quite a bonus. And, and yes, yes, I did purchase it. I paid for this out of my own cold hard Cash. It has a 160 degree beam angle, so the light spread is wider than standard strips. And apparently, it's super bright. It's flexible enough to be bent into whatever shapes you fancy. And if there's excess length, length should never be an excess, it can be very easily trimmed off. The app has a schedule, so you're able to control when the lights are on or off, but as it is compatible with Mrs. A, you can use this in a routine, which means basically you're only limited by your own imagination. Right, enough waffle. I'm excited to see what less than 30 quid can do. So let's go get it set up and tested. Connect the rope to the provided power supply and then plug it in, where the rope will immediately spring to life with its default pattern. Ah, that's so beautiful. To put it into setup mode, press and hold the on button on the remote control until the rope flashes red on and off, and then you're ready for the app part. I had no idea what app to use, but scanning the QR code prompted me to download the Tuya Smart app, which is in your app store of choice. Next, you're gonna to wanna to click on the plus icon in the top right-hand corner and choose add device. From the left-hand side menu, you're then gonna to want to choose lighting. And then, as you can see, I clearly had no idea what to choose. So I checked the manual. I know, right? I've been reading a lot of manuals recently. Anyway, the one you want to to choose is generic light source and in brackets BLE and Wi-Fi and BLE just means Bluetooth. Make sure the lights are blinking as I described and then confirm by pressing the confirm button funny enough. Enter your Wi-Fi info. This had no issues connecting to my mixed 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network and then allow the app 
to start adding the light. For me, the app said it had failed, but when I went back to try again, it was found and then was available in my device list. So I literally have no clue what happened there. It has a few modes such as DIY mode, where you get to paint how you want it to look with your finger, or choose from what feels like hundreds of presets for color and motion. And then there's a music mode, so the lights will listen and react to sound that's local to them in the room, or via app mode, where they will react to what your phone hears. I like to rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. And that's it for software setup. You just need to get creative now and work out where and how you're gonna use them. Okay, can I remind you, this three meter RGBIC neon rope light that's compatible with Mrs. A and powered by Tuya is less than 30 great British pounds. If you can't tell, I'm very impressed by this. Literally, as soon as I turned it on, I was mesmerized. The default pattern was just beautiful and it was so bright. In fact, I like it so much, I've ordered another two meter one and I'm gonna be replacing my cheap Govee strips in the kitchen, which are, well, just rubbish. I've read the negative reviews on Amazon to try and find out what it is that I must be missing. And a couple of them complain about overheating and a humming noise coming from the power adapter. I've left them on all day and then checked and they're warm, yes, but I wouldn't describe them as hot and no noise whatsoever. These things are deadly silent. Don't believe me? Well, maybe you'll believe science then. Ahem. <clears throat> See, they make no noise. As I said, to my eyes, they are bright, but let's not rely on my old eyes. Using a lux meter, these things measure 124.3, which when compared with my Govi light strips, which are 87.3, you can clearly see these were bright. I assumed because they were cheap, they would have quite large sections for independent control, but as you've seen, they don't. The sections are there, but they're smaller, around 14 centimeters per one, with a total of 20 sections, so they don't actually look that bad. In fact, I think they look pretty good. The only real annoyance to me is the width of the strip, especially when using the supplied mounting brackets. There is a fair bit of girth there, so if you plan on using them around the edge of a desk, for example, like I had, then you should bear that in mind. As I mentioned, the smart aspect of these is powered by Tuya, and although I've only had one experience with Tuya in the past, it has been a pleasant one. Although, as I said in my previous video, the app is fairly basic looking and fairly generic, which really I guess it has to be because it supports so many varied smart devices. Now, although these have an IP65 rating, this applies to the light strip only, the power adapter, obviously, and more importantly, the control box are not water resistant. So if you plan on using them outdoors, these will need to be housed in a water resistant case. If you want to use these lights on a smart plug, for example, to completely cut the power to them, then they will also remember their previous state when powered back on, which is, is just awesome. And remember, they're less than 30 quid. It's not often a cheap and cheerful product like this truly amazes me. And it's even better when I've paid for it myself. So the trolls don't think I'm being biased. If you were in the market for an RGBIC rope light, I would have no issues in recommending this one to you at at all. Like I said, I've ordered myself a second one, link down below. If you have any questions about this light or anything else for that matter, then please do let me know in the comments box down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't, and subscribing if you aren't already, and hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos because, and this, this is really important because, it helps me get sent more free stuff like this to play with and make videos about. So yeah, Thanks, and thank you for watching. Goodbye, Internet. Put this shade on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they all shade on me.